Welcome colleagues. Today I'm going to do a uh, presentation for you on creating custom views for portrait and landscape modes. Um, it is designed for Xcode 4.2. Uh, right now it's December 2011 and it is the newest Xcode version out. Um, my work is based on the work of John Ray in the book iPhone Application Development. Um, and I will provide the source code when I'm done, and you'll see that in the comments. Alright, so what is uh, custom views for portrait and landscape modes? Um, right here you see the iPhone in the landscape mode, and you have a unique green view. If you rotate it in any direction, you get a unique um, view for portrait mode. So that's what we're going to uh, accomplish. The goal of the code that I wrote is uh, to be clean and uh, functional. You should be able to modify it to whatever you want to get done. Uh, so without further ado, um, let's close the simulator and let's get started. We're going to select single view application. Xcode synthesized the project for us. I'm going into the properties list or plist, supported interface orientations, and I see that it includes portrait to landscapes, but doesn't include the upside down mode, so I'm going to add it. Click the plus button, and I need portrait top home button, which is another word for upside down. And I can close that. Uh, I hope Xcode developers are watching this. Um, our good folks at Cupertino, California, because there's a little bug. This item should have been highlighted, but it wasn't. So manually highlight that. Um, briefly about the logic, uh, I'm going to create two views, one for horizontal and one for vertical presentation. And uh, later we're going to create logic that allows us to apply the right view at the right time. Plus, we're going to create a class that's going to tell our uh, program what orientation the iPhone is in. left click and drag the view Okay, so now that we got two views, I'm going to separate them so I can see both. In the orientation right here, change one to landscape, give it unique properties, change the background. Change the background. We have two unique views. 
split screen automatically opens in viewcontroller.h and this is futuristic technology right here right click and drag both views first one is uh, portrait landscape. Behind the scenes Xcode is gonna write about 50% of the project code for us and it starts right here. Um, it declared the um, two actions that we're gonna do. Um, then if we go to the implementation uh, we got a serious head start on coding. In the past all of this would be handed in by code. We synthesize the two objects. Mm, all of these are really stubs. Um, would, they, they don't really do anything uh, that's needed uh, uh, for this particular project, but what they do is they open the doorway for modifying um, um, this little project into whatever we want. Um, such as uh, view did appear for example the view uh, just got loaded what do you want us to do you know this is a good starting point good place to put code all right so um, the first thing we're going to do is um, a little prerequisite we're going to put a pound sign define And if you're familiar with a language like C, C Sharp, C++, um, this should look familiar. Basically what it does is defines a constant, in this case a conversion from degrees to radians. And the reason we need to convert to radians is because one of the functions we'll be using takes in um, radians. We don't need to split screen. So we give ourselves some more real estate. And we really don't need the properties view either. Okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find out what orientation our iPhone is in. Um, and right here, currently what it's doing is uh, it's um, it tells what orientations uh, are allowed and it basically allows everything but the upside down our code is going to be different Another thing that Xcode doesn't like is if you put redundant parentheses, it doesn't take that very well. And in this case it was a pretty vulgar violation. So um, again what it basically what it's doing is gonna this function is gonna tell us what orientation we're in. The code that I just pasted in starts right here. Um, defines the logic of when we're gonna apply what view. And it looks like this um, name doesn't sync up. So what I'll do is I'll go up, copy portrait view. I 
I've had a pretty long night of coding, so I'm not gonna overthink it, just copy and paste. Okay, let's double check. So I said we are gonna modify the views, we did that. Then we're gonna write the logic for uh, finding out what orientation we're in, we did that. And then we're gonna do the logic of what we're gonna apply. And this is a nested. Okay, looks like it's done. This is the uh, degrees to radians we did. Conversion. Okay, let's see if um, what the result looks like. Okay, so portrait works okay. Let's see how it works when we rotate it. Flawlessly. Very well. Uh, this concludes the tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, let me know if you use it as a basis for anything. You have full permission to use um, my code, however you wish. I just ask that you let me know that you did so. And uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. All the best.